So I'm going to show you how we can make a new action to automatically load up the request page for a report. What we can do is go to uh, automation scripts as the first part called, and we're going to make a new script with an action launch point. So we need to call the launch point um, something that you will also name the signature option in application designer, which will limit it to, uh, I think, eight characters on the uh, standard maximal out the box. So let's just keep it short um, and call it um, rep. So this is for the uh, asset move and report. So that's gonna make the launch point in the action with that same name. Uh, and it's gonna be on the asset object. I'm just going to call the script the same as well. Uh, I'm not going to put any variables in, uh, but if you wanted to call it from multiple, uh, for multiple reports from multiple applications, then uh, there'd be no harm in putting a variable in to, to give the name of the report. So we'll leave it as um, Python or Jython, and we can bring in uh, the code, which I'll post as well. And this is just going to do a quick search uh, on the database for uh, this application. So it'll be the application that, where it's run from, in this case it'll be asset, uh, and the name of the report, so asset move history dot rpt design. That's gonna go in and uh, grab the report num field. Now you could just look on the database if it's just a specific report uh, and you only want to call it once, then you can just go and grab that. It's just a number uh, in, the, in the database table for a report and we're gonna call the, the dialog for, for that report. So that's created us a, report, uh, a launch point and an action. So now we just need to go to application designer and we need to go to the asset application. What we're gonna do on here is add a new signature option, um, rep. And then we we'll open up this uh, advanced signature options and say it's an action that must be invoked by the UI. So that knows that this option name matches an action, which is in turn gonna call our launch point for the script. So that adds it as an, an action, um, but we also want to add it to our uh, common actions menu, our select action menu. So we add a new one. Um, the element type is option, and then the key value should show up uh, as AM rep. We need to give it a position. Um, so let's try and find one that isn't currently in use. Uh, and we can give it an, an image as well if we want to. So I'm just gonna use one of the standard ones. We can choose which tabs it shows up on. Um, there's no harm for this one. It's got a, a, a request page that allows you to put the parameters in for the asset number. So uh, I'm just gonna allow this on all, uh, but some of them you might only want it to do it on the main tabs. So we've now got those and we need to go and grant them to uh, the security groups. So I'll just grant mine to uh, the group that I'm logged in as at the moment, Max Admin. So we click on the, the asset application and then asset removement report, grant it. And then I just need to sign out and sign back in for that to take effect. When we log back in, we go to the assets application and we should now see uh, an option for the asset movement report there. So when we click on that, it's gonna bring us up the report request page for that uh, report rather than going to run reports and asset move history.